The 3M-22 Zircon, Zircon hypersonic cruise missile has emerged as a focal point in the ever-evolving arms race. Touted as a revolutionary weapon by Russia, the Zircon boasts phenomenal speed and maneuverability. However, a deeper analysis reveals a more nuanced picture, raising questions about its true capabilities and potential impact on the global security landscape. Technical prowess. Unveiling the cutting edge, or maybe not. While official details remain under wraps, here's what we, think we, know about the Tsirkin's technical specifications. Hypersonic speed. The crown jewel. With potential challenges, the Tsirkin's defining characteristic lies in its hypersonic speed, reaching a staggering Mach 9, over 11,000 kilometers per hour, during the boost phase. This translates to a significant reduction in reaction time for potential targets, potentially rendering existing air defense systems obsolete. However, achieving and maintaining such extreme speeds presents engineering challenges. Scramjet engines, unlike traditional ramjets used in cruise missiles, operate at hypersonic speeds by using atmospheric oxygen for combustion, a complex feat in itself. Maintaining stable combustion at such speeds requires advanced engineering solutions and questions linger about the Tsirkin's ability to perform consistently at its advertised hypersonic velocity. Maneuverability, elusive and unquantified, the scramjet engine reportedly allows the Tsirkin to perform unpredictable maneuvers during flight, making it a more challenging target for interception. However, the extent of its maneuverability and the trade-off between speed and agility remain unclear. Can it truly perform sharp turns while hurtling towards its target at hypersonic speeds? Or is this maneuverability limited and only effective at specific points in its flight path? Without concrete data, the true effectiveness of this touted maneuverability remains shrouded in mystery. Dual Threat Potential From Sea Dragon to Land Leviathan the Tsirkin's versatility extends beyond its impressive, yet uncertain, speed. Designed for both anti-ship and land attack roles, it offers the Russian military a potentially potent weapon system. Anti-ship supremacy, reshaping naval equations. For the Russian Navy, the Tsirkin has the potential to significantly expand the engagement range of surface ships and submarines. Traditionally, these platforms would have had to close the distance with enemy fleets, exposing themselves to counterfire. The Tsirkin's long-range strike capability allows Russian naval forces to engage from a safer distance, potentially altering the balance of power at sea. However, the effectiveness of this strategy hinges on the Tsirkin's ability to discriminate between friendly and enemy ships at extreme ranges. Hypersonic speed translates to a shorter window for identification, and any misidentification could lead to disastrous consequences. Land attack precision, or not, the Tsirkin's ability to conduct land attacks adds another layer of concern for Russia's adversaries. However, questions regarding its accuracy, particularly at extreme ranges, cast a shadow on its effectiveness in this role. While some reports suggest pinpoint precision at shorter distances, others hint at potential test failures with concerning deviations from the target zone. A hypersonic missile that misses its target by a wide margin is far less threatening, especially in land-based operations where collateral damage becomes a significant concern. Deployment and Development The Fog of War and the Cost Factor Despite its headline-grabbing capabilities, the Tsirkin's operational status remains shrouded in some uncertainty. Early deployment stage. Questions from real-world experience. As of May 2024, the Tsirkin is still in its early stages of deployment, with limited real-world operational experience. While simulations and exercises provide valuable data, the true test lies in the crucible of actual combat, where unforeseen challenges and limitations might emerge. Has the Tsirkin been deployed in a meaningful way to assess its effectiveness against real-world countermeasures? How reliable is it under the pressures of wartime conditions? These are crucial questions that remain unanswered. Accuracy concerns, the Achilles heel of hypersonic missiles. The lingering question regarding accuracy is a major concern for the Tsirkin. 
Hypersonic speeds create significant challenges for guidance systems, and maintaining precision at extreme ranges remains a hurdle for all hypersonic weapons under development. Without verifiable data on the Tsirkin's real-world accuracy, its effectiveness as a precision weapon is questionable. Is it a game-changer or a potentially inaccurate weapon of mass destruction? Cost Considerations The price of hypersonic supremacy, developing and producing hypersonic weapons like the Tsirkin is likely to be an expensive endeavor. This raises concerns about its cost-effectiveness, especially in an era of constrained military budgets.